Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to boost your FPS. Um, before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that this will not boost your FPS like NVIDIA GeForce Now did. If you guys do want a huge FPS boost like that, that link is down in the description. It has like a thousand views. Go check it out. It's a really nice thing. Um, this will only boost your FPS for about like, I got 15, some people said 60, some people got 100. Um, it just depends on your system and how clean you keep your system. Um, personally, I keep my system very, very clean and I make sure um, everything is like nice and in order and stuff. I delete all the files I don't want. Um, so my computer has always been performing up to spec. So my computer really isn't the greatest for running Fortnite. So that's why I use GeForce Now. I got about 30 FPS before I actually um, installed Razer Game Booster. Now I get around 50 to 40, um, 65 on the max. Um, so it does boost your FPS a little bit. I only got a small boost. Some people get a big boost, as I said. Um, sorry I haven't been posting in a little while since my 200 subscriber montage. Um, I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for 200 subscribers. Um, the whole pandemic, um, there's some stuff going on with my family. Um, so I haven't been getting some time to um, actually go and post. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for 200 subscribers, and let's get right into the video, guys. All right, guys, so what you're first going to want to do is you're going to go and search up Razer Cortex um, on Google. Um, as you can see, I already have it there. Just spell it how I spelled it and click Enter. Um, once you click Enter, this is going to be the first option. I would not click that. I would go um, down here and do Razer Cortex System Booster. And it's just going to bring you to this page, and you can just click download now. Um, I'm not going to download it again because I already have it on my um, computer. I'm just going to click this card, and you guys can go through the download process, and then I'll see you guys once you are finished downloading it. And from here, you guys are actually going to be prompted to sign in. Um, I use a Razer mouse, so I already have an account, but I just click log in as guest, um, so you don't have to deal with any login stuff. Um... Once you log in, I guess it's going to take a second to actually load, and you're going to get this. Don't buy anything. I don't think it's worth it. Just click continue as guest, and close this tab, and just give it a minute. It's What it's doing is it's just going through your files and finding all your games, and as you guys can see, it showed up two games for me, a pre-installed game from Microsoft and Fortnite. Um, to get started, you guys are going to go to the boost tab, and it's going to show you these um, eight... Um, specials and just click all of them okay okay and then what I like to do guys is I like to select all of these and then whichever ones are actually um launching so basically it's gonna boost all them and then you deselect all the ones that launch when you actually open Fortnite so when you do open Fortnite all of them are gonna launch and it's gonna be like oh my god oh my god what happened to my computer nothing happened to your computer you just need to figure out the single name of each of the programs that launched and then you're going to go and find uh, which one actually launched and close it out of here. Uncheck it. And then you're going to go to services. Um, copy the services that I have. This is from my recommended settings. And then you're going to go to non-Windows services. I'm not going to click on this because this is my AMD, um, which is my CPU. I would not touch this unless you guys have other stuff that you don't know what it is. I would look it up and see if you are okay with that. And FPS tab is just to show you what FPS you're getting. And then Booster Prime is where you really want to be. You're just going to click to click there, and it's going to say click to optimize. And as you guys can see, I have this whole FPS thing. Um, I'm going to go from competitive to all the way, and it's going to give me plus 8 FPS. Um, it shows all of our settings. Um, that's not a big deal, and it's already optimized for um, this performance because I already had used these settings before. Um... So from here, you guys are just going to go to System Booster. And basically what this is going to do, guys, is it's going to clean your whole computer. It's going to speed everything up. Um, so this can also be used if your computer is just running slow randomly or something like that. Just click Scan. And it, what it's going to do is it's just going to clean everything up. And this is right now defragging my games. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to optimize again. And there you go. It says defragged. And... For me, it said, uh, before it also said like 40 millibytes. Um, actually, originally, guys, I cleaned 15 gigabytes, which is the biggest, well, almost biggest you can go. 
um, that's actually really big, so I do recommend running the system clean. It actually um, boosts your rig. And my rig is basically just shows you what I have. And as you guys can see, I don't have the best rig. It's just a laptop. And deals and rewards, nothing like special. It's just trying to get you to buy stuff from Razer. Don't do that. And once you guys have done and um, done all of that, just click play on Fortnite. I'm not going to click play because I don't want to do that when I'm recording. Um, you click play. All the things are going to launch that you selected before. Just close it. Close Fortnite or keep it open. It doesn't matter. And then just go and deselect all of the processes that are the ones that launched. If you guys don't understand me, there's going to be a link in the description for a different video that you guys can go and actually find perfect like special settings for it. Um, personally, I saw different settings um, on each video, so I just said check out all the settings and then whichever one's launched, deselect. I'm just trying to see because I know that your um, system probably isn't the same as mine and you're going to have different processes. So um, I just said to do that. Um, and yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Just launch Fortnite and you're good. And you should get a boost about 15 plus FPS. Um, again, sorry I haven't been posting. I'm also working on a montage again. I'm working on a second montage. Yeah, two, two montages in a row. I actually got a new editing pack. So my editing is going to look super, super good guys. And yeah, thanks for watching. A liking subscribers always appreciated as I said. And yeah.